I should like to question. Mr. Paris, I bid you be silent. Mr. Cheever, will you please go into the court and bring the children here? Now, Mary Warren, what brought you to this turnabout? Has Mr. Proctor threatened you in some way for this deposition? No, sir. Has he ever threatened you? No, sir. Has he threatened you? No, sir. Then you sat in my court callously lying when you knew people would hang by your evidence? <laughs> Answer me! I did, sir. How were you instructed in your life? Do you not know that God damns all liars? Or is it now that you lie? No, sir. I am with God now. You are with God now? Aye, sir. I will tell you this. You are either lying now or you were lying in court. In either case, you have committed perjury and you will go to jail for it. You cannot lightly say you lied, Mary. Do you know that? I cannot lie no more. I'm with God. I'm with God. Ruth Putnam's not in the court, sir, nor the other children. These will be sufficient. Sit you down, sit, children. Sit down. Your friend, Mary Warren, has given us a deposition in which she swears that she never saw familiar spirits, apparitions, nor any manifest of the devil. She claims as well that none of you have seen these things either. Now, children, this is a court of law. The law, based on the Bible, and the Bible, writ by Almighty God, forget, forbid the practice of witchcraft, and describe death as the penalty thereof. But, likewise, children, the law and the Bible damn all bearers of false witness. Now then, it does not escape me that this deposition may be devised to blind us. It may well be that Mary Warren has been conquered by Satan, who sends her here to distract our sacred purpose. If so, her neck will break for it. But if she speak true, I bid you now drop your guile and confess your pretense, for a quick confession will go easier with you. Abigail Williams, please rise. Is there any truth in this? No, sir. Children, a very auger bid will now be turned into your souls until your honesty is proved. Will either of you change your positions now? Or do you force me to hard questioning? I have not to change, sir. She lies. Will you still go on with this? Aye, sir. Abigail, a poppet were discovered in Mr. Proctor's house. Stabbed by a needle, Mary Warren claims that you sat beside her in court when she made it, and that you saw her make it and witnessed how she herself stuck the needle into it for safekeeping. What say you to that? It is a lie, sir. While you worked for Mr. Proctor, did you see any poppets in that house? Goody Proctor always kept poppets. Your Honor, my wife never kept poppets. Mary Warren confesses it was her poppet. Your Excellency? Mr. Cheever? When I uh, spoke with Goody Proctor, I, um, um, she said she never kept any poppets, but she did say that she kept poppets when she were a girl. She has not been a girl these 15 years, Your Honor. But a poppet will keep 15 years, will it not? It may keep if it is kept, but Mary Warren swears she never saw a poppet in my house, nor has anyone else. Why could there not have been poppets hid where no one ever saw them? We are here, Your Honor, precisely to discover what no one has ever seen. Mr. Danforth, what profit this girl to turn herself about? What may Mary Warren gain but hard questioning and worse? You are charging Abigail Williams with a marvelous cool plot to murder. Do you understand that? I do, sir. I believe she means to murder. This child would murder your wife? It is not a child. Now hear me, sir. In front of the congregation, twice this year, she was put out of this meeting house for laughing during church. 
What's this laughter during? Excellency, she were under Tatuba's power at the time, but she's solemn now. Ah, now she's solemn and goes to hang people. Quiet, man. Aye. Continue, Mr. Proctor. Mary, now tell the governor how you danced in the woods. Excellency, since I come to Salem, this man is blackening my name, and now- In a moment, sir. What is this dancing? I- Mr. Proctor. Abigail leads the girls to the wood, your honor, and they dance naked there. Your honor, this- Mr. Paris discovered them himself in the dead of night. Now there's the child she is. Mr. Paris. I can only say, sir, that I never found any of them naked, and this man is- You discovered them dancing in the woods. Abigail. Your Excellency, when I first arrived in Salem, Mr. Paris told me that. Do you deny it, Mr. Paris? I do not, sir, but I never saw any of them naked. But she have danced. I, sir. Excellency, will you permit me? Pray, proceed. You say you never saw no spirits, Mary. You were never threatened or afflicted by any of the manifest of the devil or the devil's agents. No, sir. And yet, when people accused of witchery confronted you in court, you would faint, saying their spirits came out of their bodies and choked you. It were pretense, sir. I cannot hear you. Pretense, sir. But you did turn cold, did you not? I myself picked you up many times, and your skin were icy. Mr. Danforth, you- I saw it many times. She only pretended to faint, your excellency. They're marvelous pretenders. Then can she pretend to faint now? Now? <laughs> Why not? Now there were no spirits attacking her, for none in this room is accused of witchcraft. So let her turn herself cold now. Let her pretend that she's attacked now. Let her faint. <laughs> Mary? Faint! Faint? Aye, faint. Prove to us how you pretended in the court so many times. I... I can't faint now, sir. And you not pretend it? I... I have no sense of it now. Why? What is lacking now? I cannot tell, sir. I... Might it be that here we have no afflicting spirit loose, and in the court there were some? I never saw no spirits. See no spirits now and prove to us that you can fate by your own will, as you claim. I can't do it. Then you will confess, will you not? It were attacking spirits that made you faint. No, sir, I- Your Excellency, this is a trick to blind the court. It's not a trick. I- I used to faint because I thought I saw spirits. Thought you saw them. I did not, Your Honor. How could you think you saw them unless you saw them? I, I, I cannot tell you how, but I did. I heard the other girls screaming, and you, Your Honor, you seemed to believe them. And I, it were, it were only sport in the beginning, sir, but the whole world cried, Spirit, spirits, and I promise you, Mr. Danforth, I only thought I saw them, but I did not. Surely your excellency is not taken by a simple lie. Abigail, I bid you now search your heart and tell me this, and beware of it, child. To God every soul is precious, and his vengeance is terrible on them that take life without cause. Is it possible, child, that the spirits you have seen are illusion only, some deception that may cross your mind when... <laughs> Why, this is a base question, sir. Child, I would have you consider it. I have been hurt, Mr. Danforth. I have seen my blood running out. And I have been near to murdered every day because I've done my duty pointing out the devil's people. And this is my reward? <laughs> to be mistrusted, denied, and questioned like a... Child, I do not mistrust... Let you beware, Mr. Danforth. You think yourself so mighty that the power of hell may not turn your wits? Beware of it. There is a- <gasps> What is it, child? I know not. A wind, a cold wind has come. Abby! Your honor, I freeze. They're pretending! 
She is cold, Your Honor. Touch her. Mary, do you send this shadow on me? Lord, save me. I freeze, I freeze. It is a wind, a cold wind. Abby, don't do that. Mary Warren, do you witch her? I say to you, do you send your spirit out to her? Oh, Mr. Proctor, I could not, I could not. Oh, Heavenly Father, take away this shadow. How do you call to heaven? Whore! Whore! What are you about? Oh, God! John! Man, man, what do you- It is a whore! You charge! Mr. Danforth, he is lying! Mark her! Now she'll suck a scream to stab me with, and- We'll prove this! This will not pass! I have known her, sir! I have known her! You- you are a lecher? John, you cannot say such a- Oh, Francis, I wish you had some evil in you that you might know me. A man will not cast away his good name, you surely know that. In what time? In what place? In the proper place where my beasts are bedded. On the last night of my joy some eight months past, she used to serve me in my house, sir. A man may think God sleeps, but God sees everything. I know it now. I beg you, sir. I beg you, see her for what she is. My wife, my dear good wife, took this girl soon after, sir, and put her out on the high road. And being what she is, a great lump of vanity, sir. Excellency, forgive me, forgive me. She thinks to dance with me on my wife's grave. And well she might, for I thought of her so softly. God help me, I lusted. There is a promise in such sweat, but as a whore's vengeance, and you must see it. I set myself entirely in your hands. I know you must see it now. You deny every scrap and tittle of this? If I must answer that, I will leave, and I will not come back again. I have made a bell of my honor. I have rung the doom of my good name. You will believe me, Mr. Danforth. My wife is innocent, except she knew a whore when she saw one. What look do you give me? I'll have no such looks. You will remain where you are. Mr. Paris, go into the court and fetch Goodwife Proctor. Your Honor, this is all a- Bring her out, and tell her not one word of what's been spoken here, and let you knock before you enter. Now, we shall touch the bottom of this swamp. Your wife, you say, is an honest woman? In her life, sir, never has she lied. There are them that cannot sing, there are those that cannot weep, and she cannot lie. I paid too much to learn that. And when she put this girl out of your house, she put her out for a harlot. Aye, sir. Knew her for a harlot? Aye, sir, she knew her for a harlot. Good, then. And if she tell me, child, that it were for harlotry, may God spread his mercy upon you. Hold! Turn your back, and you do likewise. Now let neither of you turn to face Goody Proctor. No one in this room is to say a word or admit a gesture, a or nay. Enter. Mr. Cheever, report this testimony with exactness. Are you ready? Ready, sir. Come here, woman. Look only at me. Not at your husband, in my eyes only. Good, sir. We are given to understand that at one time you dismissed your servant, Abigail Williams. That is true, sir. For what cause did you dismiss her? Look only at me, not at your husband. 
It is in your memory and you need no help to retrieve it. Now, why did you fire Abigail Williams? She, um, she dissatisfied me, sir. And my husband. In what way dissatisfied you? She were... Come and look at me! Now, was she slovenly? Lazy? What disturbance did she cause? Your Honor, I, I, in that time, I was sick, and I... My husband is a good and righteous man. He's never drunk as some are, and he's never wasted time with the shovel board, and, but always, always with his work. But in my sickness, sir, you see, I, I were a long time sick after my last baby. And I thought I saw my husband somewhat turning from me. And this girl. Look at me. I, sir, Abigail Williams. What of Abigail Williams? I think, I, I come to think that he fancied her. And so one night I lost my wits and I put her out on the high road. Your husband, did he indeed turn from you? My husband is a good man, sir. Then he did not turn from you. He... Look at me! To your knowledge, has John Proctor ever committed the crime of lechery? Answer my question! Is your husband a lecher? No, sir. Remove her, Marshal. Elizabeth, tell the truth! She has spoken. Remove her! Elizabeth, I have confessed it! She only thought to save my name! Excellency, it is a natural lie to tell. I beg you, stop now before another is condemned. I may shut my conscience to it no more. Private vengeance is working through this testimony. From the beginning, this man has struck me as true. By my oath to heaven, I believe him now. And I pray you call back his wife before we... She spoke nothing of lechery, and this man has lied. I believe him. This girl has always struck me as false. She has... Ah! You will not! Be gone! Be gone, I say! What is it, child? What's there? Child! Girls, why do you- Where? Why? Why do you come, yellow bird? Where's a bird? I see no bird. My face? My face? Mr. Hale. Be quiet. Did you see a bird? Be quiet! But God made my face. You cannot want to tear my face. Envy is a deadly sin, Mary. Abby! Oh, Mary, it is a black art to change your shape. No, I cannot stop my mouth. It is God's work I do. Abby, I'm here! They're pretending, Mr. Danforth! Oh, please, Mary, don't, don't come down! Her claws, she's stretching her claws! Lies, lies! Mary, please don't hurt me! I'm not hurting her! Why does she see this vision? She sees nothing! She sees nothing. Oh, Abby, you mustn't! Abby, you mustn't. Abby, you mustn't! I'm here! I'm here! I'm here! I'm here! Mary Warren, draw back your spirit out of them! Mr. Danforth! Mr. Danforth! Have you ever compacted with the devil? Have you? Never! 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 Why can they only repeat you? Give me a whip! I'll stop it! They're sporting! They're sporting! Abby, stop it! Abby, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! A little while ago you were afflicted and now you afflict others. Where did you find this power? I, I have no power. I have no power. I'm gulling you, mister. Why did you turn about this last two weeks? You have seen the devil, have you not? You cannot believe them! I... Mary, goddamn's all liars! You have seen the devil! You have made compact with Lucifer, have you not? Goddamn's all liars, Mary! <laughs> I cannot hear you. What do you say? You will confess or you will hang? 
Do you know who I am? You will hang if you do not open with me. Mary, remember the angel Raphael? Do that which is good. Her wings, her wings are spreading. Mary, please don't, please don't. I see nothing, your honor. Do you confess this power? Speak. She's going to come down. She's walking the beam. You will speak. I cannot. I cannot. Cast the devil out. Look him in the face. Trample him. We can save you, Mary, if you only just now... Look out! She's coming down! <coughs> Mary, tell the governor that that... Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Mary! You're the devil's man! Praise God! Praise God! Mary, how? I'll not hang with you! I love God! I love God! He bids you do the devil's work? He come at me at night and every day to sign, to sign! Sign what? The devil's book? He come with a book? My name! My name! He wants my name! He comes to me in the night and says, I'll murder you! If my wife hangs, we'll have to go and overthrow the court, he says! Mr. Hale! He wakes me every night! And his eyes are like coals and his fingers are like claws around my neck and I... Excellency, this child's gone wild! Mary! Mary! No, I love God! I'll go your way no more! I love God! I love God! Abby, I'm sorry, I'll never hurt you again. Come here, Mary, come here. What are you? You're combined with Antichrist, are you not? I have seen your power, you will not deny it. What say you, mister? Excellency! I will have nothing from you, Mr. Hale. You will confess yourself befouled with hell, or do you keep that black allegiance yet? What say you? I say... I say... God is dead! Hear it! Hear it! <laughs> oh, a fire, a fire is burning. I hear the boot of Lucifer and I see his filthy face. And it's my face and yours, Danforth. For them that quail to bring men out of ignorance as I have quailed and as you quail now. <laughs> when you know in all your black hearts that this be fraud. God damns our kind especially, and we will burn. We will burn together. Marshal, take him and Corey with him to jail. I denounce these proceedings. You are pulling down heaven and raising up a whore. I denounce these proceedings. I quit this court. Mr. Hale! Mr. Hale! Ow, ow.